Hey, Matt from William Henry with you one more time. Uh, put my headphones on today, hoping that that uh, microphone will create a little bit better audio for all of you out there. Uh, sorry for the trouble in the past. Um, this week's dispatch is about hand engraving. Uh, we offer a lot of hand engraving at William Henry. Uh, we work with some amazing engravers around the world. We're super proud to work with them, super honored to be able to offer this level of artistry on some of our pieces. And um, I specifically say hand engraving because it is not machine engraved, and there is a difference. There's a lot of great machine engraving out there. It is, it is and can be replicated, and it is not, it doesn't have the organic flow. It doesn't have the nuance, the, there's something, I won't say it's bad, it's great, but it doesn't have the soul um, that hand engraving does, just like uh, something made off of a big production machine doesn't have the soul of something that's truly handmade. And we're all about that soul and that warmth and that timeless elegance at William Henry. So um, we work with engravers, as I said, truly around the world. That they, they range from Italy to Belgium to the United Kingdom to the Czech Republic, China, New Zealand, Germany. Um, I'm missing one, uh, Hungary, and of course, a number of en amazing engravers here in the United States. Again, wherever the work is amazing, that's where we want to go. Wherever we can deliver something that blows our minds and hopefully blows yours as well, um, that's where we're going to get it done. Uh, uh, my longest running employee over 20 years of the 23-year William Henry history, uh, whose name is Rick Thronberg, uh, over the last 10 years has developed relationships for William Henry and looked for and found these engravers all around the world and attended engraving conventions to look for remarkable work. Because uh, again, these are, these are single man, occasionally small studios, but mostly just a person engraving. It's incredibly detailed work. We're going to be rolling images of some of the pieces that we've done in the past. We're constantly doing more. Our process is to make the frame for the knife, often case tie that to a blade so that we know what the overall aesthetic of the piece is going to be, polish that frame in a tempered stainless steel um, with any inlay or, or other scale that we're going to be using, and then take it all back apart and send that polished frame to an engraver um, with the expectation of if we get lucky three months and if we don't get lucky six to eight months, we'll see that piece back with a final engraving and then we'll be able to finally build the knife. A big part of the protocol is to not, in, we don't do, we don't commission the engravers for very specific things and we don't accept commissions because the engravers are tremendous artists. I want them to be free to be artists, to use the William Henry piece that we're offering them as a canvas for their art, rather than dictate what that art should be. And I think what we get out of that is their best work. It, again, it, it blows my mind, it's spectacular. The reveal every time we get an engraved piece back from an engraver is, it's like a little giddy moment in the shop. And, um, <clears throat> and we always ask the engravers to sign their work. Uh, with a lot of bigger companies that are having people engrave stuff, they don't want it signed. They want it to pretend or, somehow mute the point that somebody else was doing it and that it's all that brand. But we actually want to feature, hey, this person in Belgium, this person in New Jersey, this person wherever they were, they personally designed this artwork and they personally engraved this piece. Um, so they're all signed, uh, again, permanently in metal. <clears throat> Some of the engravings involve as many as 100 separate inlays of different colors of different carat gold. Some of them involve 100 to 150 hours just on one piece of working under a 10x loop. Some, in, some are quicker than that, but the level of detail is extraordinary. And I'm a knife maker, I'm a grinder, I wanna get stuff done and have it turn into something really quick. And the patience and the orientation and the artistry that it takes to do really fine hand engraving, um, I'm, my, my hat's off to them, honestly. So I hope you're enjoying some of the imagery that we're rolling. Uh, we're super, again, we're really honored wherever they may be to be able to have found and work with talent at this level and bring this artistry to you. It is worthy of any museum of the past and any museum of the present. Um, it's extraordinary and it ties right into my intention with William Henry, which is to build legacy pieces, to build pieces that stand the test of time that'll be here long after we're gone. You guys have a great week. Thank you.